Well, you may know the name Lou Gehrig, great baseball player, but aside from his great career, others know him because of the disease that eventually took his life. ALS, more commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease, attacks the muscles. It can start in your legs, it can start in your hands, and eventually it can overtake your body. But doctors are making headway in learning more about the disease, and you have a chance to help fund their research. Joining us today to tell us more about it, Sherry Singer, who is a speech therapist at Peninsula Regional Medical Center. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Also, we have here Salisbury native Robert Ortiz. I should say Salisbury resident Robert Ortiz. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Robert, tell us a little bit about your story. Uh, I'm 49 years old, married, have three children. Uh, started seeing symptoms back in 2010 of June. In June of 2011, I was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, ever since then, I've been fighting every day, just, you know, the challenge every day to do something. Yeah. Um, it all started with my thighs. It, my thighs used to be 22 inches in radius, and my left thigh right now is down to 10 inches, and the other one's down to 13. Um, I struggle day in and day out, but my thing is I have to be strong for my children, for my family, for my friends. I have a lot of friends who support me, uh, a lot of people like Ms. Sherry mm -hmm. here at, at the ALS clinic here in, at PRMC. Uh, they're great people. And they you like to out. look at it as living with the disease, don't yeah. you? Yes. I, I live with it. I mean, it's, uh, I just can't just wipe it off, say, okay, I'm good, I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. But in my own mind, I'm just, I've got to do what I have to do, and that's to stay positive. Yeah, because you your children are young. Yes, I have a four-year-old son, a six-year-old daughter, and I have a son that's 19 years old. Mm. Wow. What a great comment. Sherry, tell us a little bit more about, about ALS and about the clinic at PRMC. Um, just to kind of decipher the big medical term, um, ALS stands for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Mm -hmm. All that means is basically um, ALS attacks the nerve cells that nourish the muscles, and so the, the muscles eventually die. Um, so it's progressive. It may start with a little bit of weakness affecting one arm, one leg, but eventually it becomes permanent. So a person will eventually become um, dependent upon a wheelchair um, for mobility. Um, it can also affect speech. Um, that's my involvement. Um, eventually a person may totally lose the ability to talk because it affects the muscles of the tongue, the lips, um, in your vocal cords um, and uh, life expectancies anywhere between two and five years um, from the hmm. time of diagnosis. Most quickly. Is Very it preventable? Quickly. No, unfortunately not. Um, don't know what causes it. Um, you were talking a little bit about head trauma before. Interestingly enough, they have found that there have been some sports players who have been, uh, when they have repeated injuries to the head, mm -hmm. um, develop ALS. Um, and actually, um, veterans, any, any war, or any type of military service, are twice as likely to develop ALS. Um, but besides- had some, We mm -hmm. had some dear friends whose brothers, both, had ALS. Really? Is there a genetic thing involved? In there this? is. There is also. Um, the genetic is about two to five percent um, of the um, cases, but a lot of the research is um, gearing towards that because they're hoping to find the mechanism of it so that then they can hopefully find a cure. But there's a long way to go, and so that's why the walk is so important and to raise money. Um, the clinic um, is um, involves a lot of disciplines, but that I mean, uh, me as a speech therapist, but also physical therapy, mm -hmm. um, which helps to keep people as mobile, independent. And independence is really important, as, as Robert was saying. And so, if you can uh, push, you know, m activate your own wheelchair to get around, or if you can still have equipment that will allow you to bathe yourself, mm -hmm. still can make a really big difference. Um, help you keep your dignity. Um, the doctors there, we have a nurse neurologist Dr. Morgan um, and a pulmonologist or a lung doctor um, who will we have to monitor people's respiratory status very closely it helps to um, see what the progression of the disease is um, and all of this needs to be funded yes um, you know the um, the money also um, that we will raise will go to help 
support people as they're living with ALS. So some people don't have insurance or they don't have all this equipment is very expensive. Right. Um, we, uh, we are supported by the ALS Association, um, which is a national organization, um, and they have a loaner closet um, full of all of this equipment that people can, can use for free, but that takes money, so that's why right. we're trying to raise money. And you, that's why you have the walk. Tell us about the walk. The walk is September 29th. It's our first walk here on Delmarva. Ah. Um, they've had, they have walks um, in Western Maryland and in Baltimore, um, but this is our first walk here, so we're very, very excited about it. And right. we can still sign up for it. It's not too late to sign up, right? No, not at all. You can, you can just show up at the walk and, and sign up, and you're very welcome. We'd love to have everybody who can come. All right, and the walk is September 29th at the Pemberton Historical Park. Uh, walk check-in is at 12 o'clock and the open cer opening ceremony is at 1 p.m. That's going to be a great time. It is going to be a good time. Hopefully Sharing some Rob, good thank weather. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Wonderful to have you. And if you would like some more information on the Salisbury Walk to defeat ALS on September 29th, go to delmarvalife.com, click on the show tab. Still to come tonight, WBOC presents a special program looking back at the integration efforts in Delaware in 1954. Tumultuous time taking one Delmarva town by storm when a community banded together to stop integrating one of our schools. WBOC Steve Hammond joins us next with a preview, Desegregating Delaware. We'll be right back.